I didn't have any intentions of making a ricotta this morning, but the grocery store was out and I need to make a cannoli cake, so I don't really have a choice. Homemade ricotta is so much better, it's just a little bit of a time-consuming process. I poured a gallon of milk in my pot with a tablespoon of salt and I'm bringing it up to temperature. While that happens, I'm going to harvest some of the lettuce that I bought yesterday and get that soaking in the water. I don't know if you noticed how firm it was compared to when I bought it yesterday. It's best to harvest lettuce in the morning when it is cold. And now I fill my sink up and I let it completely soak. As it soaks, it will continue to suck in extra water, keeping it crisp and fresh. While that happens, I've got my little bottle of Italian lemon juice, which I think is fitting since I am making an Italian dessert and my milk is warm. How much lemon juice do you pour? Well, you pour enough until you see it start to separate. You see the curd separating and you can see the whey clearly in the pan. I used almost the entire bottle, but not quite. And I popped it back on the stove to heat it up until almost boiling point. Now I'm going to take a sieve and a bowl I don't have any cheesecloth, but a tea towel works fine. Get it wet, wring out the water, and then pour in your liquid. <clears throat> Move the spatula around to drain out most of the liquid, and then take it and wring out the rest. This takes about 20 to 25 minutes, but you can see how much ricotta I have left. The texture is so much better than anything you can get in the store. No, it does not have a strong lemon flavor. It is very, very light and it tastes delicious. I hope you enjoyed my video.